controversy over Atlanta's Public Safety Training Center continues. Just a short time ago, City Council introduced legislation to fund a portion of that $90 million project. That includes $33.5 million of taxpayer money. Nearly 300 people signed up to speak today, uh, coming to speak out against the uh, proposed public safety facility and doing so in front of council for hours. For hours here. 11 Alliance Cody Alcorn was there every single minute while he was there, and he's live outside City Hall tonight. Cody? Yeah, I actually just watched out of the chambers. That public comment went on for seven hours hours uh, this evening. Uh, city Council just wrapping up their meeting all together in the last few minutes. And the Stop Cop City movement seems to be gaining some traction just by the sheer number of people who showed up here today to speak out against this facility. But there does seem to be a line drawn in the sand. City Council says they are obligated to the city to be able to competitively uh, hire, retain, and train first responders here in the city. We simply want to show the council that ain't no power like the power of the people because the power of the people don't stop. Hundreds of people against Atlanta's public safety training center filled City Hall Monday afternoon. It's in my neighborhood. The environmental injustice of this area is terrible. Amy Taylor lives across the street from the future training site. I wanted to live next to a green space. I didn't want to live next to Cop City, which it's already become. Taylor was one of close to 300 people who signed up to speak out against the facility. I got up there and spoke because I don't want this. It's wrong on so many levels. What we wanted to remind this city council of is that they still work for us and we have something to say. Kiana Jones says she grew up in East Atlanta and her 90 year old grandmother still lives in her childhood home. No one knocked on her door to ask her about Cop City. The Stop City movement has continued to grow since an activist was killed in a shootout with a state trooper during a law enforcement operation to clear the 85 acre property of anyone trespassing back in January. That was really the thing that turned me completely against this. We know that we're on the side of right, and if we keep fighting, we are going to win. And there was a clear message tonight from all of these individuals. As we mentioned, nearly 300 people showed up. They were all against this facility. They said simply, do not fund it. Now, there was no vote tonight, as many suspected. Uh, what they did was introduce legislation that will fund that $33.5 million portion of that whole project. They sent that to a finance committee. They will hear that uh, next Wednesday. All right, Cody, thank you so much for that update. So let's take a minute to look at the timeline for this project. Just a few weeks ago, we learned construction is set to begin in late August, and the facility would be complete in December of next year. The facility will cost $90 million, and the city is on the hook to pay $33.5 million. The Atlanta Police Foundation will pay for the rest.